Hi, welcome to another video. So, Claude 4.5 Sonnet launched, and it's a good model and all. But I wanted to talk about the specific upgrades in the Claude code interface itself, and what cool things have been upgraded here specifically. I know that it's not open source, but you can still use the Claude code interface with third-party model providers like GLM 4.6, which is great, and the interface itself is really good. That's why I wanted to talk about the stuff that's new here, and also explain why it remains one of the best options to use with GLM 4.6. So, let's talk about the new upgrades here. First, to check the new upgrades, make sure that you upgrade it with the same command that you use to install it as well. So, just do that, and you should be good to go. Now, let's start with some new options. But before proceeding, let me tell you about Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform where, for just $11 per month, you get access to top AI models like GPT-40, Claude 4 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.5 Pro, all in one place. I've been using Gemini for quick research, but what's really cool is their AI playground where you can compare responses from different models side by side. Their mind map generator is a game changer for organizing complex ideas as well. The basic plan gives you 1,000 messages, 30 images, and 5 videos monthly with higher tiers available if you need more. Use my code KING25 for 25% off any plan or KING40 yearly for 40% off annual subscriptions. Check the link in description to try it yourself. Now, Back to the video. First of all, there's a new VS Code extension for Claude Code. Previously, there was also a Claude Code extension in VS Code, but it was more of a terminal agent's helper. But now, it's a proper VS Code extension, like Klein and stuff like that. So, the extension that you need to install is the same one that you used previously for Claude Code integration in VS Code. And now, by clicking the Claude icon in your editor, it will open up this Claude code interface. Here, you can use it just like you use things like OpenAI's Codex VS Code extension, or Klein, or Roo. It is not as fleshed out as the terminal interface, but the slash commands here work, and you can see an interactive menu that opens up when you hit slash and then try to use it, which is great. Similarly, you can toggle between different modes of auto-approve, plan mode, and manual approval by hitting the option here as well. You can also give it the context of the active file that's open, or remove it if that's needed. The slash commands and subagents also work fine here. You can't yet create a custom agent through here, but it still works fine. It also seems to work fine with the model that you set up in the settings file. Like here, I have it set up with GLM 4.6 and it works kinda well. So, this is great, and it comes in extremely handy to use with the GLM models as that is what I have been using these days. It's really good and cheap. Anyway, the console also works fine, and the next updates is majorly there. So, let's go over there now. Here. I have it set up with GLM coding plan, as that's what I prefer. It's cheap, super good, and the GLM 4.6 model is really very good for the price that it's being offered. It works seamlessly, and it's actually very much fine-tuned for usage with Claude Code, and it works better with it. So, this is actually the more recommended option, and with Claude Code 2.0, I think this is great. So, the first thing here that I want to mention is the checkpoints feature. This is not something that you'll directly find in the commands, because what it does is something that has already existed in Roo, Kilo, and Klein for quite a while, where it automatically makes a backup of the edited files before editing or at some intervals, and then you can use a command or button to revert back. In Claude Code, to revert, you have to use the slash rewind command, and then it will give you the option to go back to any checkpoint as well. 
this is really great and will come in handy for a lot of people. So that's great. There's also a new option that allows you to toggle thinking quite easily. To do that, you just have to hit the tab option and then it will toggle between the thinking and non-thinking variants, which is pretty good for sure. It also works well with GLM. So that's great. Another thing is searching history. You can hit Control plus R, and this will allow you to search your history for previous prompts that you may have sent before. So, if you sent a prompt even outside of the current project, then it will still allow you to search for prompts and reuse any of them, which is also good. Another thing is that you can start Claude with dynamic subagents, meaning that you just need to have a subagent config JSON file and then you can simply mention it with the agent's flag and use those subagents just in this session. This might come in handy for some specific workflows or CI workflows as well. There's also a new config command in Claude Code as well. You can now easily set some general stuff that you may need to change frequently. This was first added in Gemini C, but it is now here as well and works fine, which is kind of great and doesn't have any issues. You can also cycle between three tabs to see different stuff. Like here, you get the status as well as config and usage as well. So, this is kind of great. You can set up stuff like auto compact, to-do list, tips, verbose output, and things like that, which are also pretty cool to see. That is majorly about it, and it is kind of cool to use for a ton of stuff. You can just use it, and GLM is also quite fast now. So, that's great. Some more things that I generally recommend. If you are using the GLM coding plan, it already gives you free access to Vision and Web Search MCP servers. This makes the performance a lot better because it can search for documentation and stuff like that, which is pretty great if you ask me. So, that is something I generally recommend for you to use. Another one that I use is Byte Rover, as it is a memory layer that allows your AI coder to create memories of important things that it may need to remember later and then access them anytime. These memories can also be synced across teams and updated like Git by tracking how an architecture changes over time. You can also manually tweak these memories in many ways, which is pretty cool. It's super easy to install and set up, and it makes the performance in longer tasks better. Syncing across teammates is also easier with this. That is majorly about it. I just thought to tell you guys what new stuff is in Claude Code, and I think that the Claude Code interface itself has been made a bit snappier. And that's why people were thinking that Sonnet is faster. Because actually, the tool is now better and snappier than before. That is majorly about it. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.